Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about something that happened to me, like, uh, let's see the time, uh, 10, 20 minutes ago. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, this happened to me. So, I'm sitting here playing on my Xbox because I prefer the controllers to Xbox. Uh, and... I get a phone call from my sister, and she's like, hey Max, can I use your phone? I'll cash app you money, and uh, I will I will cash app you like 30 something dollars, and I will use the money from, you know, what I send you, and I'm gonna go get me a pen, you know, like vape pen, uh, because she's stressed out, and, you know, whatever, and you know how druggies are, you know, they're always stressed out, and they have to go for them to not want to explode. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so I'd say, yeah, sure, if you get me, like, a drink, because I'm evil like that. Anyway, I say yes, and, uh, it's a, it's a big hassle and everything, because she's like, they're gonna, a they're gonna ask me for the number. They're gonna ask me for the number. And I'm like, I don't know the number. <laughs> I don't know my card number. When I go to Walmart, they don't ask me. And, uh, so she calls our dad, and it's this big fuss and everything, and, uh, eventually I come to a consensus. I think it's, uh, 2490. And, uh, you can probably guess by the fact that I'm telling you what the number is, it's not actually 2490. I was wrong. But I'm working under the assumption at the point at this point that it's 2490. Because uh that was actually my EBT. That was the number to my EBT when the 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 fucking the pandemic was going on and everything. The EBT was uh the number that I chose was 2490 because uh my old, my very first uh, Xbox name was Crimpy Basher. So, for obvious reasons, I changed that to White Pigeon Two Forty Nine. I know it sounds weird, but there's 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 a reason. My stupid, dumb, like fucking eight year old brain was like, I really like uh, Ace Ventura, and he's always going after that that White Pigeon. I I didn't I. It was a dove, or like something. It was something. It was like a dove, which, which doves pretty much are white pigeons. Like literally, look it up. But I spelled both white and pigeon completely wrong. I was eight years old, so don't judge me. But it was W I G H T P I G E O N E, and the number at the end that I chose was two four nine. I don't know why. But then later I changed, and this is what it is now if you want to add me on Xbox, uh, is MaxiPoo249. And uh, so I made the number 2490 for my EBT, and I got that mixed up with the number for my uh, card. So we're working under that, uh, that assumption, but my sister, she's like, she she's all worried and stressed out, like I said, you know, how druggies are. Uh, and, uh, she, it, my dad comes up with the idea that it, this feels illegal, but I'm basically going to case the joint, you know, go in, buy, buy something, and then check it out and see if 2490 is the number for the card, then go back, and then my sister will use the card and use 2490, again, working under the assumption that 2490 is the number, and we, it, we get there to the gas station, I go in there, there's, I, I go in there, you know, I, I'm walking, you know, walking to where the drinks are, because I, I, I just wanted a Dr. Pepper. I like Dr. Pepper. And there's this fat white dude, this fat, bald white dude, got a huge beer belly. You know, I say, excuse me, because he's a little bit in the way, because, you know, fat people, you know, they're kind of always in the way. It's kind of, it's kind of their burden. They're crossed to bear. So... I, I get past him, and then I realize, this is beer. 
so I have to say excuse me again to get past him again. And then I, as I'm, you know, I get to the place where the, the Dr. Peppers are, I bend down and I grab one. And I, I joke with the guy and say, you know, I, I got past you and all there is beer over there and I can't actually have beer because, you know, I'm underage. And he didn't laugh. He just looked at me like, Anyway, he did. He didn't find it funny. I I thought it was a little bit funny. Anyway, uh, so I get in line. I wait for the line to die down, and then I, 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 I'm not gonna believe this, but the gas station, you know, the person behind the gas, you know, the register, he's an Indian dude. You know, a bit of a stereotype, but hey, I'm not gonna judge it. You know, this guy comes here from India, I assume, and you know, he's trying to get that bread. I respect it. You know. You know, 24-7 grind. And I respect it. But I don't really know exactly what he's saying. I hope this doesn't make me, like, sound racist. But I genuinely couldn't tell what he was saying. And what he was saying was that... That, uh, you have to... For you to use a card when paying for stuff, you have to buy... You have to use at least $5 worth... Or you have to buy, like, at least $5 worth of shit. The only reason I know that's what he said was because some other fat dude, this time, it's a fat, bald, black dude, you know, it's like two sides of the same coin, it's like an Oreo, uh, <laughs> fat, bald, black dude, uh, basically tells me that's what he's saying. I guess he must come here a lot because he could actually tell you he was saying, he's, he's, he like speaks Indian accent, doesn't speak Indian, speaks the accent. Uh, anyway, hey. So I go, I grab like three Jack Link's uh, meat sticks. That's way, that's way more than five dollars. Uh, so I get back in line. I I ask the fat bald black dude. I'm like, hey, is this uh, is this five dollars? He's like, yeah, it's way more than five dollars. That dude, that dude was trying to like scam me. He was trying to like get a laugh out of me. And uh, oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention the fat bald white dude. At this point, is is like next in line. The dude who was in front in line goes out, uh, and the fat bald white dude uh, he he gets to the register and he's he just starts speaking fucking Spanish. And at, at the time, I thought it, I thought it was Indian because you know I I don't know Indian. I don't know anything about Indian. I barely know Spanish, even though I took Spanish one and two. I barely know Spanish. The only reason I know he said Spanish was that the Indian guy said, Adios, senor. So I was like, oh my god, they're not speaking Indian, they're speaking Spanish. So this Indian guy, you know, I assume speaks fluently three languages. I assume Indian. Because, I mean, if you come from India, from, from India to America and you don't know Indian, well, you're a bit of a dumbass. I mean, I, I come from America and I speak full-blooded American. I speak fluent American. <laughs> But anyway, it was just so weird because, like, when the dude was, was you know, back there, the, the, the fat, bald, white dude, he was like, They ain't got my bear. They ain't got my Bud Light. <laughs> it was fucking funny. Because, like, this this full-on American stereotype walks up and he's, he walks up to the register. You expect him to be like, Oh, they ain't got my bear. I'm going to start being racist. No, he just starts speaking full Spanish. It was awesome. So anyway, I get there and I I try I I I I put the three meat sticks and my Dr Pepper down. And he's like, uh, sir, uh, it's the worst Indian accent. Uh, hello, my friend. Uh, I'm, I'm not even gonna try. He basically says, he basically says that uh, only one meat stick plus the Dr Pepper is enough for it to be five dollars. So I I grab the two meat sticks, I go and put them back in their display case, and, uh, uh, and I try to pay with the card. I swipe it, like, two times, and then he tells me, oh, you actually have to, you have to insert it. Again, very awkward, uh, I insert it, <laughs> I insert it, and, uh, it asks, it asks me, uh, debit slash ATM, blah, 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 is this, and I say yes, and then it asked me for the pin, and I put I put two four nine zero. It didn't work, so that, then he lets me just say when it when it asks for the you know the debit slash ATM. I just say no, and then I get to do my stuff. I get to take it, and then I go back to my sister, and she's all sad because she can't 
get or shit. And uh, that's where we're going to cut that. We're going to cut that story. Because the rest, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not your business, basically. I just, I just thought that was a fun little story to share with you guys. Because uh, I just feel like, one, it was the most awkward thing I've ever been through. And two, so much happened all in one, like, little place. Some... There, there's a, there's like four, four people. Me, the Indian guy behind the register. The there, there's two different, there's two different stereotypes. The Indian guy behind the register and the fat white American bald dude. And you throw in he can speak Spanish. It's, it's very strange. Anyway, thank you for watching. I might, I might do a gaming video. Uh, I might not. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching.